Hi, this is Robin Bremer. That net is my website. And um, I'm in my new debt free house in my studio. And finished studio, as you can see. And today I want to share with you, my friends, um, how Jesus broke one of the Ten Commandments. And by doing that, I want to show, for, show you that the law is not for us today. The law is good and right and just, but the law does not make us good, right, or just. Okay, so uh, if you have your Bibles, get them out. I'm going to try to go through this quickly, but on my blog site, robinbremer.net, I will have the outline. Uh, John 5.16 says, Therefore the Jews sought all the more to kill him, because he not only bro broke the Sabbath. So because Jesus broke the one of the Ten Commandments, which was uh, the Sabbath, uh, the Jews wanted to kill him. Now, this is uh, commandment number four in the Ten Commandments, Exodus 28 through 11. It says, Remember the Sabbath, keep it holy. Six days you do work, but the seventh day is the Sabbath of the Lord your God. You shall do no work. Okay? Excuse me. So, um, <clears throat> that was one of the Ten Commandments, and Jesus broke one of the Ten Commandments. Now, if you look at John 5:19, <clears throat> Jesus is saying, Most assuredly, I say to you, the Son can do nothing of himself. But whatever he sees the, the whatever he whatever he sees the father do he does, for whatever he does the son does in like manner. So Jesus was copying the father. So the father broke the Sabbath that he he made. So Jesus broke the Sabbath. Okay. And James two ten says, whoever keeps the whole law yet stumbles in one point is guilty of breaking all. So by Jesus breaking the Sabbath he broke the law, the whole law, okay, and so then he was guilty of breaking all the law, and now the point I'm making here is the Ten Commandments were the Old Covenant, we're now in the New Covenant, you can see that in Hebrews 8.13 it says, in that he says, a new covenant, he has made the first one obsolete, so the first one is the Ten Commandments, uh, <clears throat> the Old Covenant, he has made that obsolete, Okay? It's not our laws. We don't go to hell if we mess up and we don't follow the Ten Commandments. <clears throat> now what's obsolete is growing old and ready to vanish away. Okay, Then Hebrews 10.9 says, Behold, I have come to you to do your will, O God. He takes away the first that he may establish the second. So Jesus took away the first covenant, which was the Ten Commandments, so that he could establish his second covenant. Now let's look at what the second covenant is all about. Why that's so important. Um, well let me do one more thing. Hebrews 8.7 it says. For if the first covenant had been flawless. Then no place would have been sought for a second. So the first covenant. The ten commandments was not flawless. Because the ten commandments. What they did was they showed us that we were sinful. And no matter how hard we tried. We would break one of the commandments almost every day. We would break a commandment. Whether little or big. We would break it. We just couldn't do it. We needed a savior. And that was the purpose of the ten commandments. To show us that we couldn't do it. That we needed a savior. Okay so today's commandment. <clears throat> I'm sorry. Today's covenant is. Uh, for this is the covenant I will put my laws in their minds and write them on their hearts. And I will be their God and they shall be my people. So the reason God doesn't want us to follow ten rules and ten laws is because he said right there. He wants to have a relationship with them. I will be their God and they will be my people. Now if you come down here further to Hebrew 8.11. It, it clarifies that a little bit. It says none of them shall teach his neighbor and none his brother saying know the Lord. All shall know me. Okay, that is the purpose of the new covenant because he doesn't want us to follow rules and religion, but he wants us to have a relationship. Hebrews 8 <clears throat> 12 says it goes over um, the new covenant. He will he will be merciful to our unrighteousness, he will forgive our sins, he will be merciful to our sins and merciful to our lawless deeds, and he will remember them no more. So when you're remembering what stupid stuff you did last night, what sin you did last night, that is the devil condemning you so you will not draw close to God in a relationship. Now Romans 7, 6 says, Now the Holy Spirit convicts us of our righteousness. Go to my website and look at the information I have about the Holy Spirit and wrong believing and, and the scripture, what it says. Okay, Romans 7, 6 says, Now, but now we have been delivered from the law. 
because we died with Christ, having died to what we were held by, we were held by the law. Why, 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 why the big purpose? Why have we been delivered from the law, from the Ten Commandments? That we would serve in the newness of the Spirit. Now my third book, and I don't know when my publisher is publishing it, is all about the new covenant which is walking in the newness of the spirit the supernatural realm of God um, so my name is Robin Bremer that's on my website the outline is on my website share it with your friends um, send it to other blogs uh, let people know and be set free from condemnation so they can have a relationship with Jesus Christ. My name is Robin Bremer. I enjoyed talking to you. Please leave your comments, your questions, your arguments um, under my blog at robinbremer.net.